What a block. This series of six quick tech snacks is designed to remove that nagging fear that you're missing some important detail about what's involved in building a custom loop. Choosing a water block is no different from choosing a heatsink or heat spreader, and it'll be the most familiar thing for people who are used to installing air cooling. You simply have to choose a block which is compatible with your CPU, GPU, motherboard chipset or VRMs, RAM or whatever it is you're cooling, and you're golden. There are some slight performance differences between blocks, but the choice matters way less than when you're choosing an air cooling um, heatsink. It also doesn't matter where in your loop your water blocks are or how they're connected. Water relative to other blocks or radiators just doesn't matter. If you want to see some evidence for this, I recommend Jay-Z Two Cents video on the topic. Radiators and fans. Radiators are where you really have to think about performance. You need to make sure your radiators are big enough and have enough fans to give you stable temperatures. Adding more will give you a lower final temperature. There are a lot of tools and guides out there to help you decide how much radiator is enough for you and all the wonderful fan configurations you can have. But if you want a rule of thumb, 240 square centimeters of radiator surface area per CPU or per GPU will give you plenty of cooling with headroom for overclocking. Closing out on radiators, I'll just mention three fit pools. Fit pools, pitfalls. First, radiator thickness is not as important as radiator surface area and taking advantage of thick radiators requires more fan power. Second, get static pressure optimized fans for your radiators, not standard case fans. <clears throat> Finally, radiator manufacturers don't clean their radiators fully before they sell them to you, and they're always full of debris. I recommend you research how to clean out radiators and do it before you build your loop, especially if you want to run your loop for a long time without maintenance. Just like with water blocks, it really doesn't matter where your radiators are on the loop. And here we are at the finish line. But back up a minute, I've actually been oversimplifying this loop just a tiny bit. Next episode, filling port and draining port.